maybe for a non-BCS team like Tulsa, this is the opportunity to get a nice little jump in those standings. Go to Arkansas, beat the Razors. Yeah, go to Arkansas and really play a BCS conference team, get a win, really legitimize what they're doing right now. Tulsa offensively have just been unstoppable. Again, averaging 624 yards a game. Tulsa taking its perfect 8-0 record. They're pretty good, Low. I keep telling you, they're pretty good. David Johnson, I don't think you can argue with that production. The man throws it all over the park. Now they have Arkansas 3-5. and five. The return of Gus Malzahn. Back to his former program as the offensive coordinator. Yeah, Pig Suey needing some help, especially on this huge day coming up. It's senior day. Bobby Petrino about what makes that so special. I don't worry too much about them getting too too over vamped. I think the the thing the seniors have done is really worked hard at keeping the team together, doing a good job. Um, I know that it'll be emotional for them. That's part of senior day. Hopefully that's the positive part that helps our team, helps everybody else, uh, helps everybody else play hard for them. But uh, it's going to be an emotional game anytime you've been here and this is the last time you get to line up, take the field, last time you get to play in the stadium. You know, those things start hitting you a little bit harder and you realize, my gosh, this thing's almost over for me. And then I have to, you know, move on. Tulsa and Arkansas, another homecoming of sorts for the Hogs. Gus Malzahn now coming back as offensive coordinator at Tulsa. Boy, this is a really dynamic offense. 624 yards of offense per game. And a little bit surprising, their number seven run offense. Everybody knows about David Johnson and how he's throwing the ball around. But this Tulsa team, very dangerous. Could be a BCS buster. Well, haunted hayride for the people now. How about Tulsa going into Arkansas favored to win? Yeah, they're favored to win, and I think they will win this one big. Tulsa putting up 624 yards a game. David Johnson on the year, 32 touchdowns against only nine interceptions. These guys are a lot of fun to watch and could be some BCS busters by the end of the year. Enormous opportunity for Tulsa. Number one scoring offense, 3.9 student David Johnson at quarterback, the first year starter as a fifth year senior. Gus Malzahn goes back to Arkansas. He's the play caller for Tulsa and that Hogs team coming off back to back heartbreaking losses has been beaten up on defense. Todd Graham told his team. Our goal, 14-0. Not just winning Conference USA, going to a BCS bowl game. They've lost 17 straight games to mm. BCS conference teams. Yeah. They'll have 16 in a row to Arkansas. Yeah. Graham believes his team has a real good chance to win at Arkansas and win convincingly. But they keep going, the Golden Hurricane. I agree with Graham. I think they have a great chance of winning. Yeah, I mean, this team's number one in scoring, averaging 55.6 points a game, number one in total yards per game, averaging just over 600. You look at Arkansas, they're sitting there at three and five, struggling on the first year coach, Bobby Petrino. He's going to turn things around, but not today. Tulsa walks out of there nine and no. Mm, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you have no idea. Yeah, that, that's Arkansas. what you said last Let week when I picked Penn State. I yeah, okay. <laughs> hey, Arkansas. hey, Arkansas has played a lot better competition. They lost by three points in the last two ball games. Arkansas upsets number 18, Tulsa. Good win for Arkansas. Well, everybody's talking about Tulsa and the way they yeah. score. <laughs> That's true, but they also have one of the worst pass defenses in the country, 114. I think Casey Dick will be the difference yeah. in this game. Shootout, yeah. points everywhere. Yeah. Arkansas's athletes uh, from the SEC win it. You don't think they're going to try to run the ball? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> that big offensive line, mash them physically. Yeah, uh, run it, throw it, do whatever you want to do. They're going to be giving high fives and stuff. Yeah, right. Right. Okay. <laughs> Everybody's smug. Everybody's smug until kickoff. Just remember exactly. that. You're right. Good yeah, point. Right. Good point. <laughs> Tulsa's lost 16 in a row to Arkansas, 17 in a row to BCS conference teams of the Golden Hurricanes get a landmark win in Fayetteville today. 17 in a row to Arkansas. Oh, okay. All right. I'm going Arkansas also. And you know what? That's an upset. Arkansas upsets yeah, Tulsa. It's unanimous here. I'm going with Arkansas, too. I think Good. it's the, the SEC athletic ability yep. against Tulsa. Casey hey. Dick, huge game there. Chris, Chris, ah, Chris, you guys are Chris. elitist. Triple not so fast. Golden Hurricanes go can, to Fayetteville. Wow. Can, I, can I back up on this a little bit? Very I, quickly. I hate to have Corso and Herb Street agree with me on anything. Now it worries right. me. I, I, Their record worries me. <laughs> Should. It's a big deal for our seniors to go out there with their parents and and then uh, come back in the locker room fired up and ready to go. Here we are with the opening Play kick to start off. with the easy completion off the bat. And here's our first third down of the day. This was a huge, huge play. Jarius Wright really showing his speed, ran right by the guy in match. And, you know, on your first third down of the day, this is a great way to start and do it because, uh, you know, we set the tempo right there that we were too fast. tight. 
come back here with a, another pass play and DJ open across the middle. Real nice throw. There was a, it was a tight coverage. It was a good opening drive for us. Used a lot of clock. Nice throw here. And Davey makes a great catch and gets the ball in the end zone and convert third down. So we were real excited about the way we started the game. Andrew gets the pass there. And you can tell about the four-yard line. He was not going to be denied the end zone there. No, Andrew's done a nice job all year of, of run. First ball. possession. Yeah, and then here on defense, you know, we started fast. We got Jericho blitzing off the edge. Has a great shoulder and getting the sack. Come right back down on second down. And, and uh, tomorrow, Ambrose with a nice job beating their punter. Did a better job than their punter. Start out here with the wide delay. And nice job execution by Casey. DJ showing his speed and ability to run and cut and uh, drive the ball down right right off the back. Just the a little bit off the line of scrimmage. Yeah, we send the running back through trying to clear out the linebackers. And DJ runs a, a wide delay and does a nice job. You know, anytime you can get it in his hands, his ability to run is really helping us. He looks healthy. And he Tejada comes on, and this is an important kick for him. Oh, all of them were. But this one, uh, I think, was big because it just gave him the confidence. Been doing a great job in practice. Really did a nice job fighting through the, the early season uh, misconfidence and kicks it right through. So it's a 10 to nothing ball game here. Get the ball right back. And you see Casey there really on time. Great job with his footwork. Hits Joe in stride. Yeah, our ability to run the ball after the catch really helped us. And then here at the end, we did a nice job of running. Michael breaks a couple tackles. See him driving those knees up high in the air and fighting to get extra yards. Uh, and this was real important in this drive was our ability to run the ball. It didn't continue throughout the day, but we had two really nice runs that helped us get in the end zone and get points on the board. Boy, at this point, you're up yeah, 10. Everybody's you got... feeling good. Yeah, and then here you see another outside zone play. DJ gets a great cut. Michael breaks a tackle, fights hard. They reviewed the play, uh, but decided that he did get the ball in the end zone. 17 to nothing. And everything going he was right there. He just didn't time the jump as, as well as their receiver did. The second quarter now. And we stutter and don't move the ball and come back on defense. And uh, great job here of hustling, running to the ball, making a nice hit. And you see all the red shirts around the football right there. And I think that's what our defense did was play hard, play full speed, and really swarm to the football the entire night. On that two-point chart, know if we have to go to, for two, know if they will. Came back with that same wide delay play that we ran earlier. And what a run. Mm. Breaks two tackles, two stiff arms. Here you're talking about take care of the ball, take care of the ball, because you always see fumbles happening from behind. Uh, we would like to see him get both hands over it, but fortunate for us, it went out of bounds. There's a great stiff arm, another great stiff arm, driving his legs. Now it's about, hey, take care of the football, get both hands over it. Uh, we're real lucky it went out of bounds there. He is running with authority. Yeah, it's, just, it's just beginning for him. Just a great, strong lower body. And here we throw a ball. Nice curl route. Jarius Wright had a great game for us. And, and they get a penalty there for face mask. Now we get down. And unfortunately, we have to settle for a field goal. Alex Tejada coming through for you again. Alex did a nice job. We were real proud of, of his performance in the day. Number nine for them really had a nice game. We had to really be aware of where he was in the second half. We did come back here in, in uh, formation we used quite a bit during the day. Again, that great throw, great job by Dean. And, and we're moving the ball, trying to get in field goal range, trying to get some points on before the halftime. Again, really nice timing there. I think that just fell out and we settled for another field goal. So Alex Tejada kicks that one through the uprights. It's a three-point ball game now. That's the way we head into the half at the back. Yeah, we do. Here's a, a third down play. And, and one of the things preparing for them, you had to understand all the trick plays that they had. Receiver throwback, great job by Jerry Franklin there to intercept it, be in position to intercept it. And then, uh, unfortunately, now when they tear your helmet off the and get the 15-yard penalty, which really helped. But a uh, great way to start the second half. And then here you see Jay Wright on a curl route. I thought he was going to break it and go the distance, but get open. Come back here and, and move the pocket a little bit, buy us some time. Again, hit Jarius right over the middle. And what he did there was a real nice and job. And it's a 23-23 ball game. And for all the offensive excitement, we're heading into the fourth quarter, and it's anybody's ball game. And they kick the ball off. We get a chance to return it. You see DJ hitting it, sees a crease, makes the kicker miss. And the thing I was impressed of here was he was certainly the fastest guy on the field at that point where no one even came close to 
catching them or getting close to them and he runs it in the end zone for a huge touchdown and very well executed play. Everybody got their blocks. DJ made a great cut, made one guy miss. You always have to make one guy miss when you run a kickoff back for a touchdown. He did that and put the ball in the end zone. And a freshman from Texarkana. Huge, huge play. Yeah, it really did. I didn't think that would be the end of the scoring myself. I thought we would. The official came over and told me he pounded his chest and, and uh, jumped into the stands. So. But again, you see us, we blitzed the corner there, did a real nice job and, and putting pressure on them. They throw the deep ball and Isaac Madison as a corner, you just got to keep playing and here you see he makes the big play. The great job with the interception, great job with the return, you know, his ability to run after the catch and his speed, being smart, taking play care of the ball. Yeah, he really did. And then, you know, we had a penalty that really hurt us. Here was a real nice job of recognition. We knew when they put three into the boundary, they were going to run a reverse, and our guys were Michael, calling. easy completion, good job getting yards after the catch. Come right back here to Lucas Miller on a play. When, you know, the thing I was impressed here is he was number three in the progression. The receiver makes the adjustment. They come back here with a little uh, stretch run, jet sweep run, and, and we make tackling them. Here's where we won the game, you know, coming off the edge there, Matt Harris. Got the penetration in, and uh, they try the play again. Look at Matt coming off there and making a negative yard. Those two plays I really felt put the uh, And of course, here on the fourth down, we bring a blitz again. He didn't have a very good vision, not a, not a very good passing lane. Couldn't see because of the, the fact we were in our rush lane.